Hello again, and welcome back to the card mat. Yeah, nice little variation on a 27 card trick. Um, can't do a performance, do need a spectator. You're not here to act as a good enough spectator, so I'm just going to have to do a little walkthrough on it. Now, there are a couple of different outs to it at the end, and I'll go through them as I get to them. As you can see, it is impromptu. The spectator can shuffle the packet. Once they are happy, ask them to cut off mm, just over half of a packet. So you'll cut off so much of the packet. You'll then split them into groups of three and do three piles. And you want nine cards in each pile. You don't say you want nine cards in each pile. Oh, let's make that even. There we go. You just do a very casual, right? So you get nine cards. Your spectator is then free to shuffle the packet if they want to, or just shuffle one because they need to pick one packet. Say they pick this packet and they give it a little bit of a shuffle and then you ask them to remember one card in it. So they'll have a look at the cards and they will look at... We'll go for a very easy one to remember. We'll go for the Ace of Spades, right? So the Ace of Spades is their selected card, for an example. That will then get put into the middle of everything and your spectator is free to shuffle the packet. They are just remembering the Ace of Spades and they're shuffling the packet. You've no idea what that card is. They are just mentally thinking about it. Once they've done that, if you want to, get them to deal three piles. So they deal three hands down, nine cards in each hand. Then, just for a bit of fun, ask them to have a guess at what pile their card could be in. And say they say this one. And you have a little look. And you go, well, you're unlucky, you didn't do it. Wasn't in that one. Was it in that one? And you go, no. And you go, you're really unlucky, you, aren't you? I guess it must have been in this one then. And to which they will say, yeah. You'll then put that packet in uh, onto the top, sorry. It goes as the top packet, right? So put the cards together however you want, as long as the packet with their card in goes on the top. You then invite them to deal three more hands of nine cards, which, yes, does take a little bit of time. Not as bad as doing the entire deck. It's only half as bad because it's just on half the cards. Again, you played a little game with them. What pile do you think your card is in? And they say, oh, we'll go for this one this time. And they will have a little look. And no, they didn't get it. There is the odd time when they will pick it. And it's good if they do pick the one we did in. Because you can go, you're really good at this game. You are. Let's try that again. And you put the packets back together with their card, their card packet on the top. And again, they deal down three more hands of nine cards so you talk very slowly to fill the gap very nicely like that you then ask them once more and you'll go we'll go for this one so they go for that one and no they blew out on that one in that one and yeah it's in that one. Now, you will notice at this point, if you count down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's their card. It will always end up in seventh position after the third go. Again, you put it on the top. You then say, let's try it a different way. I want you to deal cards down slowly, one by one, getting a feel for each card, and stop when you think you've got your card. And so they'll get all of the card and they'll have a little and they'll put it down and they'll, get, and they'll put it down all the time you're counting how many cards are going down because you know their card is in seventh place if you emphasize do it very slowly they will get very bored very quick so they will not go through the entire pack how many have i done there five see how long that's taking just to do five no it's not that one it is that one they don't look at it. 
there you can well stop there right they can sometimes stop at that one these are the few little outs they stop at the sixth card you know it's the seventh if they stop before the sixth card they stop with five down there Pff, dead easy double lifting easy or even better double lifting and then just swipe the card away as you show it right one two three four five six that's if they stop there or below stop it there well turn that card over and the right um no if they stop there you can say it's that yeah yeah you know what i mean there's a couple of outs there if they go past it like so and say that one and you know they've gone three past it you'll pick them up you'll put them on the top and you'll just do a triple lift one two three cards together pink turn it over and there you go you come away nice and clean right one two three four five six seven oh hang on yeah they're going face down aren't they if they go way past it now this is i think is the better option if they go way past it and um you always say right so it's going to be that card there always make sure it's the card on the top of there then that'll go on to there you know their card is seventh from the bottom you can turn it over and you go right so now you think we've told you to stop and you think you've stopped at your card i mean your card could be any card in this packet you'll see the card you'll get a break above it right get your little finger in or drop a card down whatever as you go through you know you cut to your card you stop at your card as you're closing up you'll get a break underneath their card and then you just do a half pass as you turn it over and go right just do a little wave over there what was your card and then their card suddenly on the top to which it'll blow them away because they've just seen that somewhere down in the bottom of the packet about that position obviously with different cards around it so all you're doing for the half, half pass and if you don't know you're getting your break as you're closing up you're catching a break on it what you're going to do is just lift the top packet up and pull it forward as you spin that packet out and turn that packet over onto the top of it as your hand is turning over okay um, that's there yeah so you're just picking that up flipping that over turning that onto it as you pull it down and they do their bit of whatever and it's up on the top so there you go just an alternative way of doing the 27 card trick with a couple of little outs in there but a very nicer way of finishing if you get them to actually go past their card yeah anyway shut your face get off i will i hope you enjoyed it or some some enjoyed it um i'll see you again soon